And welcome back to GMA and today's weekend download. Something all parents know a lot about, lack of sleep. A new study published by Oxford University Press found that parents report getting their worst sleep during the first three months of having a baby. But even six years later, their sleep hasn't fully recovered. Joining us to talk about how to deal with this issue is parenting expert Erica Suter. Always great to have you. Good to be here. My daughters were both, I love them dearly, nightmare sleepers, especially. Oh. And, and I think parents won't be shocked about the first few months, but the long lasting impact is truly surprising. It is surprising and no one anticipates being in a zombie-like state six years later. But what parents tell us is that there are other things that keep older children up. Nightmares, illnesses, reluctance to go to bed, or they can't really fight you when it comes to bedtime. So all those things factor into why you're not getting sleep six years later. So help us, what can we do about this? Well, when the kids are older, there are a few things that you can do. Tag team, a lot of parents have had success when they divide and conquer. That means one partner takes maybe the 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. slot, the other takes the 2 a.m. to 7 a.m. and that way you get more consecutive hours of sleep. You also want to copy your kid. Everyone thinks when the kid sleeps sleep, I'm going to write that great American novel, do the laundry, do the dishes. No, take that time to get some sleep and you know you'll feel healthier and happier and refreshed, refreshed. And if someone offers you help to do an overnight shift, take that as well. A mom, a mother-in-law, a sister, take help when it's offered. Do not turn down the help. <laughs> My wife and I actually did that shift work and it really helped out. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to uh, your kids when they are finally asleep, you need to remember though, this is not a time to get your chores done around the house, right? No, absolutely not. You really do want to take the time for yourself to rest and relax. Some, for some people that isn't sleeping, sometimes it's just chilling out, taking time to just kind of recoup and refresh. Uh, quickly, when your kids get older, yeah. what can we do to get them to sleep? Well, you want to have a routine. You want to start it as early as possible. When they're little, that's going to be bath time, pajamas, and story time. When they're older, maybe they like to journal. Maybe they like to do an art project. But the idea is to get them in a routine that signifies it's almost time for bed. And the same is true of parents. We need routines as well. Cut off those devices. Take, you know, stop doing the work. You know, have a glass of milk, a glass of tea. Uh, a meditation app is great. I use one of those and it really helps get my body in the mood to sleep and I have more a more relaxing night. Erica Suter saving the day for us parents <laughs> once again truly appreciate it. Well hey there GMA fans Robin Roberts here thanks for checking out our YouTube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.